This is going to be the first video of a relatively small series where I just cover the basics of Blender and cover some small issues and what certain things are so that way you can hopefully have a grasp on it to where future tutorials that you watch from me or other people make more sense as well as whenever you make your own thing it can prevent some issues that you might be scratching your head as to what's going on. So hopefully this will kind of trigger that little bit of hey, this is what happened. I remember seeing something about how to fix this. So that's how you'd go about it. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm just going to give you some, well, what my recommended export settings are. Now I have two of these that I bounce between for just Unreal Engine. So here's my cube here. Go to File, Export, FBX. I'll go to my example. Actually delete those two. Now what I have for normal meshes, so just the mesh, the object itself like this cube, what I do is I already have presets here. So I have one for animation, so it's just the animation, and I have one for no animation. So my no animation, we limit, I'll just go ahead and go through by default. So we check, limit to selected objects. The only things we want to export would be the armature and the mesh. So if you have a skeleton like a rigged object, you could simply select both and export those out all the same. Leave the transform. Go to geometry. Our smoothing we want to set to face. I personally want to prefer modifiers for the reasons that I will get into when we get into the next video of triangulation. And then armature. Uncheck add leaf bones. Check only to form bones. And then for animation, bake animation, simply uncheck. And then once that's done, click the plus sign and select UE, type in something like UE for mesh, something like that. And then you have your preset. So whenever you want to export a mesh, just select that preset, export, you're done. You don't have to re-select uh, everything like normal. Then we have another one for strictly animation. Now it's the exact same. The only difference is bake animation is checked. And these are the settings that I'm using. So for example, no animation has them all checked. I uncheck NLA strips and all actions. And I leave the other two checked. So that the reason I do this is because, again, this is personal. I like exporting actions individually. I don't really bulk export. However, it's probably a not a bad idea. So if you had a bunch of weapon animations for a specific firearm, you would probably want to bulk export so that way they're contained inside of one FBX file and when you import it you have access to all the animations in there inside of Blender. So one file contains several animations you know right from the get-go. I just like doing individuals so I'll do each action I export at a time. So that's how I have mine set up. So whenever I want to export an animation I just click the armature, file, export, FBX, and I select UE4 or Unreal Engine Animation and hit export and I'm done. It the settings are already there for me. So hopefully that was a little helpful. Uh, in the description I have a video link to some other guy's channel or playlist already. Or sorry. And he goes through and he blocks out a low poly HK416. So if that he does a pretty good job at going through and explaining everything. The topology is pretty good, and I highly recommend it if that's something you're looking into. And as usual, there is a link to my Patreon down below where you can find a Team Deathmatch Patreon-only course. If you have any questions regarding that, what I'm doing in Blender, anything related to game development, there's a link to my Discord down there as well. Feel free to join it, and I will see you in the next video where we cover triangulation.